In this video, we're going to learn how to write a piecewise function if you're given the graph of a piecewise function. So, um, when you're writing a piecewise function, you know you're going to have an equation for each part that you have. So, I'm just going to work from left to right. So, I'm going to start actually with, uh, with this portion of the graph that I'm colorizing in blue so you can more easily follow what I'm doing. All right, so I'm doing the blue part right now. Okay, so I need an equation for the line that goes th through this. And uh, in my mind, I'm thinking of y equals mx plus b. Right, y equals mx plus b. Um, the slope-intercept form of a line. So I need the slope of this line. And uh, right away, I see that it's going to be negative because of, from left to right, it's going downhill, as opposed to this red one, which is positive uphill. So I know it's going to be negative something. Um, now, from point to point, it's going down one, right one, down one, right one. So that slope is negative one. So I'm just going to put negative x. Next is the b value, the y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept is where the graph touches the y-axis. So that's here at 3. So that's going to be negative x plus 3. OK? Um, so that is the equation of this line. And that will be the first piece of my piecewise function, negative x plus 3. Now, this would be an entire infinite line. So I need the domain restrictions that limit it to just from here over. So I'm going to put if x is less than. Now, I'm picking less than because I notice um, this graph is going to the left. What is this x value? OK, this is the x value where it changes from the blue function to the red function. This is an x value of 2. So the blue graph is to the left of 2. Um, so that's why I'm going to say x values are less than 2. All right? And I leave it less than. I'm not going to put or equal to because it is an open circle. So that's it for the blue piece of the function. Now let's do the red piece. So again, I'm going to need an equation. So I need, uh, I'm thinking y equals mx plus b. I need the slope. Now this seems to be going up 1, right 1. So it's going to be just positive 1. So 1x is just x. But now I need the y-intercept. Now for the blue one, I could just see where the blue crossed the uh, y-axis. This ray that starts uh, here and goes to the right, this ray does not touch the y-axis. However, the line that goes through it does touch the y-axis. And that's the y-intercept I'm talking about. So um, what would happen if I kept going? So um, as I go to the left, this is going down one, left one. So if I did more of that, down one, left one, down one, left one, kabam! I'll just extend more to make a point. But this is going to be the y-intercept, all right? Positive 1. So this, uh, the equation of the line that goes through this is going to be y equals x uh, plus 1. So that x plus 1 is going to be my second piece of the piecewise function. And now the domain restriction. If x is greater than or equal to 2. All right, again, I'm dealing with an x value of 2. Uh, this piece of the function is going to the right. So the x values had to be greater than 2. Uh, the end point here was a closed circle. Uh, so indicating greater than or equal to 2. So that's it for this problem, problem number 13. All right, now let's take a look at problem number 14. Problem number 14 is special. Um, it is a piecewise function, but more specifically, 
This is the graph of an absolute value function. You can tell by the way it makes a V shape. So um, you're being asked for an extra piece of information here, um, which is the absolute value equation of this function. So let's do that. Notice that the vertex here is the point negative 3 comma negative 2. So that means um, whereas the parent function has a vertex at the origin, 0 comma 0, this graph is left 3 and down 2. So when I make my absolute value function, because it's left 3, I'm going to have x plus 3 inside the absolute value. All right, a plus 3 moves you to the left 3. It's always the opposite of what you would normally think. Now, this is also down 2, which is why I'll have a negative 2 on the end. Now, sometimes we have to put a number in the front if the slope is something other than 1. So the number here should be the slope of the right-hand side of this uh, absolute value function. Um, but this graph is going up 1 over 1. So the slope is just 1. So I don't need to put um, any number here. In fact, I shouldn't. Don't put the 1. All right? Um, so fine. That's the absolute value equation. Now I need to make the piecewise uh, function, the piecewise equation. So again, let's do this in our two parts. And I'm going to color this part blue, just like I did before. And I'm going to color this part red. OK, so I like to work from left to right, so I'm going to start with the blue part. So again, I need the equation of this line. I need the equation of the line that goes through the blue. So the slope. Um, do you see that the blue line from left to right, the blue line is going downhill, whereas the red line is going uphill. So the blue slope is negative. Um, so I know it's going to be negative something. Now negative what? Now this is down 1 over 1. So that's negative 1. So I'm just going to write negative x. Next, I need the y-intercept of this blue. Now, this ray does not touch the y-axis. Um, but maybe if I extend the line, I can find where it would touch. So if I kept going down 1 over 1, it would be like this. Down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. And now it's heading off the graph, but it's so close that I can see if I go down 1 over 1 one more time, that would hit the y-axis. Okay, just imagine the y-axis going just a little bit further down. So um, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's negative 5, so minus 5. Okay, now the axis of symmetry is here. All right, it's here at negative 3. So the blue part is uh, to the left of negative 3. So I'm going to say less than or equal to negative 3. OK. Um, now the red part, the red piece of the piecewise function, has a slope of positive 1. It's up 1 over 1. So that's going to give me just x. Now as far as the y-intercept, uh, the y-intercept is right here. That's where it touches the y-axis, at 1. So that's x plus 1. And because this is to the right of the axis of symmetry, um, it's to the right of negative 3, I'm going to say greater than negative 3. Um, it doesn't matter which one of these you make or equal to. Put a line under it. I could just as easily have done the second one. But don't do both. Just make sure one of them is or equal to and one of them is not. Okay, so that's how you can write 
a piecewise function given the graph. I really hope this video was helpful to you. I will see you on the next video.